The length of a new rectangular playing field is 8 yards longer than double the width. If the perimeter of the field is 370 yards, we want to know what the dimensions are. So by dimensions, we mean uh, width and length. So we have a rectangular playing field, and it's 8 yards longer than double the width. So it's longer than wider. So when we draw it, we will draw it like this. Okay, And so we know it's 8 yards longer than double the width. So if we call the width x, you can also call it w, the length is 8 yards longer than double the width. So it should be 8 plus double the width. Right, so 8 yards longer than double the width. So 2x is double the width. Likewise, this is 8 plus 2x. We're told that the perimeter is 370 yards. So the perimeter is the sum of the lengths of the sides. So if you add up all these sides, we should get 370. So if we do x plus x plus 8 plus 2x plus 8 plus 2x, that should be equal to 370. Uh, let's see, x plus x is 2x. So we have, and then we, here we have another 2x, another 2x. So 2, 2, 2, so 6x. And then 8 plus 8 is 16. So we get 16 equals 370. So now we just have to solve this for x. So if we subtract 16 from both sides, we end up with 6x equals, and 370 minus 16 ends up being 354. And I used a calculator for that, if you're curious. And then uh, divide by 6. And so we get uh, 354 divided by 6. So x is equal to 59. So we'll fi whoops, 59. So x is 59. And the units are yards. So that would be the width. So again, we're told it's 8 yards longer than double the width. So you do 8 plus 2 times the width. And then you add up everything up, add up everything, and you get 370. You solve for x, and that's your width. To find the length, all you do is plug in the 59. So you do 8 plus 2 times 59. You plug in the 59 for your x up here. And putting this in the calculator, 8 plus 2 times 59, you end up with 126 yards. So that would be your, that would be your length. So your length is 126 yards and your width is 59 yards. Hope that made sense.